tutorial and uh, I want us now to learn on how we can visualize the results of the group by function in pandas. Uh, in the previous video uh, we looked at how we can group by our data set based on the number of days from Monday to Sunday but now I want us to kind of visualize that data so that you can have more uh, in-depth understanding on how the trends or how the data looks like based on the number of days. And uh, to get us started, yeah, if you don't, if you have not imported pandas, I will highly recommend that you do so. Import pandas as PD, and then uh, again use the data frame or the data set we have. In this case, we used uh, the traffic. So again, the link is provided on this video. So just paste and then run to make sure that you have the data so this is the data set that we are going to use and as i explained in the previous video it's a data set of a traffic uh, that was recorded uh, for all the amounts charged for people who committed various offenses at different times of the of the week that is monday to sunday and it also recorded the age the previous offenses and the driving experience for each of those who are the victims of this uh, traffic inspection. So now the first thing that you want to do is to group by this data by the day and uh, as you know we use df which is the name of our data frame and then use the function group by but our aim is to plot this data so before you plot this data I just want you to tab and add a line on top of this and press the or type the percent sign in your notebook so the good thing about Jupyter notebooks it allows you to plot or to make plots within uh, the cells using the magic function matplotlib inline so just do percent matplotlib so matplotlib is the library that will allow us to generate plots and then inline will ensure that this plot is generated within the cell. So this is a magic function in Jupyter Notebooks. If you are working in an integrated environment like PyCharm or VS Code, then probably it will not work for you. But if you are working in Jupyter Notebooks like this, it's going to work for you. So let's group by this our data by the days. And it's very straightforward. We just type the name of the column that we are grouping. So I usually advise you to copy to avoid the cases of white space on your data set. And then uh, we want to classify not just the day, but the speed for each day. And the speed that we are interested in is the average speed. So to do that, you do mean to mean average. And then if we do this, this is just the mean. We haven't plotted anything. So to add our plot, we just add we call the plot function in Python and then specify I'm interested in generating a, a bar plot. So I'm going to have that as a bar to tell Python that or pandas that I'm pro plotting this as a bar graph. So once I do that, I can run it and it generates a plot of all the numerical data set in this our data frame. So it's interesting that as a data analyst, you realize that when you present this to people who didn't maybe take part in the analysis, they might find it very difficult to know these values here and therefore there might be need to do scaling. So quickly, you realize that the total amount has got high values like even 5,000 or 3,000 in this case. But the other, other values are very, very small like 6, 2. So it's probably wise not to include it and just have the summary of these other ones that are relatively closer. So to do that, we can select specific columns. And to do that in Python, let's in pandas, let's just assign the data frame called df. And then call our previous data frame, have inside and closing brackets, and then specify each of the columns that you want to use. So first of all, obviously, when I use day, so we're going to have it inside this double square brackets as a string comma so that's the first column that you want to use the next one i want us to use is a uh, speed so i'm only interested in uh, numerical values and then 
I also want us to use uh, age. So pre I copied this somewhere and also you can do the same. So let's use previous offenses and driving expense to uh, experience, sorry. So these are the columns that I want to select. So this is how you select your columns. So I'm selecting these specific columns and assigning them to this data frame. And then this is what I'm going to plot. So to do that, I'll just copy the same plot now here and run it again. But this time, so it will exclude the total amount because that's huge and doesn't scale up nicely for our plot. So if you do that, you realize that we have got a relatively better plot to show to people who might be interested in our results. However, there is even a nicer way of having this plot. And uh, the first thing that you want to do is to kind of make it a bit big. And uh, we can also try to, maybe for the purpose of this, let's have something simple. Just plot uh, the number of offenses, these ones, the number of previous offenses against the day, and then see how that looks in our plot. So to do that, first of all, Let's import matplotlib. If you don't know how to do this, watch my previous video on uh, matplotlib.py plot as plt. So we are importing the library that you're going to use for plotting. And then, first of all, let's specify the figure size. So that is the size of this graph. To do that, we use plt function figure of uh, matplotlib and then with the arguments 10 by 10 so it means i want the length of this to be 10 the width also to be 10 you can specify any number so if i run this it's gonna specify let me just do plt dot show so you can see what i'm talking about so I think it should be uh, it doesn't show it but I'll adjust it iteratively so that you can see the difference but the whole idea is 10 by 10 is simply the length and the width of this uh, graph that you're going to use and then I'm going to do uh, my x values for this case i'm going to use df it's going to be the number of days and then my y values is simply going to be uh, so to do that first of all let me just group them it's very easy i can do df the df as you learned previously group by and i want to group them by day group by its opening bracket and then inside this i'm gonna do it by day and then i want the size of each so basically to count the amount or the value that is for each day and then i will gonna reset the index so that they don't start at uh, if you look at my previous index here if you group them it doesn't follow the normal index it returns the original index but i want to reset them so that they start from one to the last one so that's why i'm adding this reset index again if you haven't watched my video on resetting index you should watch that video and then this new column i'm just gonna have it as number so i've regrouped that data based on the day if i turn it you can see how it looks like so these are the results so it tells you that on friday there were 10 people who are or 10 offenses registers Monday, 7, Saturday, 9, blah, 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 until the last one. And now I want to plot this. So my x-axis is going to be day, which is this. And my y-axis is going to be number, which is this. And then to plot it, I'm going to simply do plt dot bar. And then it accepts x and y, which I've already specified there. And then I'm going to just add an extra thing, which is going to be color. So let me use blue. 
and run this. So if I run it, this is what I have. I can make this plot nicer by labeling the axis. So I can say PLT using the matplotlib function x label. And I'm going to simply do x days. Then copy the same as you can guess. For y, it's just the same syntax, but change this to y. It's going to be number of offenses. And I can also, sorry, if I run this, always spell this wrongly. It's label. Le so you can see the, the axes have been labeled. I can also add the title of this. That's very straightforward. PLT the title and number of offenses offenses by day. So you can see I've added that. You can make it nicer by having grids. It just makes it look nice. So it has got an option. Matplotlib has an option of grids. So it's going to have grids on the face of this plot. So I can do plt.grid. And the way I want these grids to be, uh, I specify the argument which. So the which argument, uh, it tells you or how you want to specify how you want the grid lines to be. So for the sake of the video, let me just have them as major. And I will. So there are only three options. There's major, there's minor. And there is both. So I'm going to try both of them so that you can see the difference. And then the line style is how you want the lines in the grid to look like. So I'm just going to use the normal uh, dash. So if I run this, you can see this is the grids. I can change this to instead of dash to full colon and you'll see it's going to be dotted. You can see now it's dotted. I think that looks nice. I can change this to both and you can you will see how it looks so there's no much big difference I can change this to minor that's why you'll see a bigger difference from the previous one you can see there's none so I think we can leave it at both also you can save this plot or uh, you can save it on your directory by just doing plt.save fig and give it a name. So I'm going to say traffic offenses.png. So I'm going to save this as png. So if I click this, it's going to save it in the my directory. And uh, if you go to your directory where you are working on, you're going to have the graph here. And it looks so nice. So now you can import this and have it on your report. That is how it works. Uh, that was how to make your plots nicer in uh, after grouping by. So in the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to split data frames and uh, combine them to generate more interesting analytics. So again, feel free to subscribe uh, so that you get notified when the new video is up. Share with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye-bye.